Hi, my name's Kelly, and four years ago, uh, my husband and I uh, moved to Spain, um, and we've loved it. It's been great. I don't think we would live anywhere else. Uh, we arrived uh, on a cold uh, March night in the pouring rain with four suitcases after selling everything in the U.S., our house, everything in our house, uh, our cars, and we decided to make a leap and and go on this adventure we were we were all in um, it's been great uh, we landed in Valencia first for the first three years and then last year we bought a farm in Galicia and the community here has just embraced us it's been fantastic uh, they bring us vegetables and um, people in town know us even if we don't know them uh, so that's been great <laughs> Uh, oftentimes it's funny because we're referred to as the Americans, but we're um, number 84 and 85 of um, immigrants since 2006, uh, since they started keeping records. So we're pretty proud of that. Um, some of the challenges we faced have been uh, Spanish bureaucracy is, is definitely an art form. And... Uh, we've had to learn how to navigate it, uh, how to try to circumvent it, how to make connections with people who can help us through, and we've done that. Um, it's been it's been um, a, a big learning, um, but we know we know how to do that now. Um, it's also sort of like being 16 again, and and you have to get your driving license, and you have to get insurance, and you have to learn how to kind of be an adult. Um, that's what what moving to Spain is about because you're sort of in your infancy you don't really know how anything works um, and it can be confusing and uh, and daunting honestly um, but uh, but it's, it's well worth it um, I would say if I had any advice for someone who was considering moving to Spain um, what you might think about is how well do you deal with change? Um, that's a big one. Um, and then also um, really about patience. Uh, uh, everything takes longer here. Um, if someone promises you something, uh, we'll be here in a week. Um, it might be eight weeks, it might be 16 weeks, um, and you're still sitting on the floor and your sofa hasn't arrived. So those are the types of things that um, that you need to be able to roll with um, and because it happens on a pretty regular basis. Um, but overall, I would say people here really mean well and we're, um, we're really fortunate to live here. So thank you.